Krishna's arrangement. I get the Krishna and the Aslan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. There's a saying, Srila Prabhupada even used it. There's a saying that a preacher is least appreciated in his own hometown. And I guess that's just normal. So we, we shouldn't uh, get too upset if that thing happens to us. Um, anyhow, I see most of the devotees seem to be rather new devotees. So I don't know, you know, how much you're going to be able to put this dissertation to practical use now. But we should remember that today's disciple becomes tomorrow's guru, isn't it? So therefore, it's always good to be, let's say, edified and, uh, let's say, um, cautioned as to the actual purpose of our mission etc. So I've written a few words here just to try to consolidate my ideas so that I don't carry on and on and on and on for three hours. On the occasion of this most celebrated event commemorating the appearance of our beloved Srila Prabhupada, I again earnestly offer my obeisances to the esteemed assembly of devotees and humbly entreat all of you to once more kindly, carefully, and patiently hear a few selected, straightforward, truthful, and perhaps spicy words from the heart of a most lowly and insignificant Aindra Das. Some may think me to be a bit brazen or rather audacious to say the things I do. Whatever it may be, I pray your broad-mindedness will kindly recognize the relevance of this short dissertation as well as my intention to catalyze a greater depth of thoughtful discussion regarding the mission of His Divine Grace and the progressive viability regarding the mission of His Divine Grace and the progressive viability of our evolvement with His mission. Left to themselves, the fumbling Raganuga dabblers will ever disastrously stumble along as unauthorized intruders into the path of Rasa and their Lobha and Bhava will never crystallize. However, when by the Lord's mercy, genuine lobha, that means greed, for attaining one of the Braja Bhavas, appears in the heart, one gradually becomes enlightened in different ways. Uddhava says in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.29.6, quote, Krishna reveals himself through the Acharya, spiritual master, or through the agency of Chaita Guru, the Supra Soul. Thus, some devotees attain knowledge about the moods of Krishna and his Abraja associates, 
from the mouth of a Rasik Vaishnav Guru, some from the mouth of a learned Raganuga devotee, and some whose hearts have been purified by the practice of devotional service will have this knowledge directly revealed to them from within their hearts. From the stage of basic Anartana Vritti, so at least we should come to the Anartana Vritti platform, then this starts to have more relevance in our lives. But it has relevance even now because it is meant to prod you, to push you, to do the necessary Anartana Vritti, to come to the platform where this begins to make perfect sense. From the stage of basic Anartana Vritti, when Guru and Krishna will be satisfied with the intensity of our anxiety, our desperation, our ardent avidity, and our nishta for attaining our natural eternal mood of loving ecstasy, Bob City, there will certainly be further and further enlightenment by gradual revelation both from within and from without. Then practical attainment of our authentic eternal prayojana, our requisite premaka relationship as an assistant of Sri Guru in his or her eternal services to Radha and Krishna will be sure and solid by their grace. At that stage only, fullest empowerment to act as an agent of Krishna's compassion both internally as a Braja Gopa or Gopi serving in his Nitya Leelas and externally as a preacher moving within this psychophysical dimension becomes possible, not otherwise. This material world will be repeatedly manifested and unmanifested for the rest of eternity. It is not that this insignificant point on the eternal time continuum is the all-important consideration. For all of eternity, there will be innumerable fallen conditioned souls who will need to be delivered to the supreme perfection by the influence of someone's highly qualified and most capable, fully self-realized, super-consciously empowered preaching efforts. Furthermore, a most profound truth is that Krishna being an extremely witty connoisseur, very often requests the emancipated jiva who has in the Satchit Ananda spiritual body attained his pleasure pastimes at his abode of Golok to return in the Acharya Sarup to this material cosmos as a Nitya Mukta avatar. Such a Mukta jiva may then act as the greatest emissary of the Lord's compassion to the Buddha Jivas bound by the network of Mahamaya's allurements. Having become the recipient of the fullest extent of Krishna's mercy, only the said emancipated Jiva, as a fully enlightened Gopa or Gopi, 